My mother's cells um, is the only cell that can live outside the body on its own. None, no, no other member, or matter of fact, no one else in the world have a cell line like hers that would live outside the body. And that's something to be proud of right there. His name is Sonny Lax, and he's here with his nephew, Ron Lax. They're here because Clarkson, uh, incoming Clarkson freshmen, have read The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lax. Henrietta is Sonny's mother, and Ron, or was Sonny's mother, and Ron's grandmother. Um, Henrietta Lax's cells, called HeLa cells, um, created the first, the world's first immortal cells. Dr. Senator John Hawkins Hospital and John Hawkins Hospital, Dr. Guy uh, was trying to find a cell that would live outside the body for years. And here they had sent, a, I guess, a culture to him and he finally had one, a HeLa cell that he named it himself. Hila cells have been, have helped to create many of the most important advances in medicine in the past 60 years. Um, the polio vaccine, chemotherapy, gene mapping, in vitro fertilization, those are all due to the help of Hila cells. You can't be completely mad when your mother, when your family has given so much to science. You know, you have to be proud at the same time, so it's a complex emotion of having your family taken advantage of, but as well as you know, giving so much and helping so many people. And this is something so bittersweet because yes, his mother was taken advantage of in a way. And in another way, you gotta think about the times. But also his mother contributed so much to society and has helped with so many things. And how can you be, you know, angry about it? Especially when you find out that your mother was such a giving person. It's a very difficult place to be in. Everybody think I should have an attitude about how John Hawkins did or did everything, but John Hawkins said they gave the cells away. And for us, it affected me by personally, I think it makes me feel good because my mother's cells did a great for the medical field. Even just from the polio vaccine coming from her cells, that put, you know, them five, ten years ahead of time. And then I knew someone with polio back in those days, and that was, that was and that's almost non existent now, polio. So it made me feel good. It made me feel good personally. Really, everyone should be saying thank you to Henrietta Lacks.